Good morning. <laughs> it's a nice sunny morning here on the big island, the big rock. I call it the big rock. The largest shield volcano on the planetary landscape. Um, Mohawk, Longhouse Milo Stewart, put up a video. Um, and uh, this, this is sort of uh, where I just go, okay, you can say what, you know, <clears throat> in other words, <clears throat> I don't impose my, my will on somebody else's will, which means I'm not going to write your story for you, right? So I'm reading your text on how you communicate with others as a Mohawk Indian, okay? Um, but when I observe what those words represent, because of what I know, because of what I've experienced, I don't, how do I put it, translate the way that Mohawk communicates the same way that I've learned through what I've learned which is not the same thing, which means to say that this is all about the white races. And I, and this would even go to what's his name? Um, Meredith Quinn, when he talked about the difference between white races, it's like, man, you got to catch up to speed here. How could a Mohawk Indian be that far? Or if you will, what we call willful ignorance, because I put a lot of information up there for this guy to realize that it's not what you look like. Milo, how could you not know that? How could you not know that? Just by looking at nature. Nature is an artist. That means the energy that is in that form and that color that is presenting it to you and the flow of that energy can look like whatever it wants to look like because they have holographic masking technology. That's part of the deception, Milo, is it gets you to focus on that so that you breed more negative magnetic polarity energy on their side as a result of the way that you communicate that way. It's just like when I talk to my clan mother, what does she look like? What is that color? Okay. She's an Arcturian. It's just like, what is the matter with you, buddy? Okay. I mean, this, what happens is these are the same repeating patterns of behavioral communication that go on and on and on on and on and over and over and over and over and over. Okay, so while you're communicating that, I'm communicating other things that represent coming together to help heal Mother Earth, which is bringing all of the people together, everybody. Okay, because even though you can explain or communicate how much... Uh, Whatever you experience, whatever you feel as a result of the things that they do, I'm very aware of what they do. And that's because this is a fallen system. Okay? Because I've always known that I give love to all creation. That's everything that's in creation. So that's a little bit different perspective than the way that this gentleman communicates. But nevertheless, he put up a video, okay, uh, by William Cooper, and for those that don't know who William Cooper was, he worked with uh, United States Naval Intelligence. Uh, my father was a former Navy pilot, World War II. My father was an aeronautical engineer and was cozy with a lot of folks that worked in the military industrial complex, ex-projects, if you will. So my dad had a lot of associations, which what are known as informers, informing. So my dad began spoon feeding me information when I was a child growing up with documents like uh, secret, what is it? Secret weapons for silent wars, which basically is in a, a schematic, a diagram of how they feed on our energy, what their plan was. And then that was followed up later on by the book that was by William Cooper. Okay. Which they murdered by the way, as a result of informing. Too much information was being released, uh, not just through him, but many others that came out of those programs, programs that were blowing the whistle and telling people the truth. But they don't want to know the truth. And the reason they don't want to know the truth is because when you begin exposing the programs that people are running, uh, they have a tendency, because I've experienced what their reaction state is, that they feel stupid, that you're smarter than they are because you're not controlled by what they're controlled by by virtue of the programs they're running that you're not running. And so now you're exposing their programs and they get angry in the merit that, that you 
by the fact that they began to realize they've been programmed to experience the reality the way that they do because they're in a fallen system. Okay. Octelius does a great job of breaking a lot of that down. So do many of us that are out there. That's why I've always said when I was a child, knowing the difference between what love is and what love isn't. When you're experiencing that many people that are not experiencing what love is, that's a fallen system. That's self-evident. Okay. I mean, I experience every day people blowing holes in their energy field and living in a black hole. Why would they do that to themselves? Because they're fallen. They're a fallen race. <clears throat> in other words, they can have high intelligence. They can know the physics. They can know the math. But that doesn't change what they do to themselves, does it? Okay. They're trying to catch up to zero and they're never going to get there because they're always going to be behind because they don't know how to balance their energy and live in a state of peace with everybody else. So they feed on other batteries because they know that those batteries are at zero or experiencing a perfect state of peace. So they go after the batteries. So they're vamps, they're vampires. So now you have vampires and bigger vampires. So that's why the biggest vampire at the top, which is the emperor, which is what William Cooper talks about, creates a Roman circus. And he did a great job in a very short period of time because all you have to do is go back in history to the first Roman Empire. When Rome was sacked, it came about as the Camel's Eye Treaty in 408 AD. AD, Anu Domini, Anu Dominates. Anu, the Anunnaki, the Dracos, right? So all you have to do is look at the Roman Empire when it split. Now you have Westgate, Eastgate, right? So in other words, all their mass media, it's just like when I was a child growing up, I called them carnival barkers, snake oil salesmen, snake oil, right? Cold-blooded killers, apex predators. So when the emperor realizes too many people are waking up, hey, so he did a brilliant expose about why would they pay some guy two million bucks a year to go out on a football field in an arena like that? Well, they suck energy out of those places. It's just like a homeless shelter is a loose bin. They can tap into that and feed off that energy. They do that in movie theaters, churches, schoolhouses, buildings, capacitors, high-rise buildings, all the batteries, right? To feed their machines. In other words, they draw energy from the sun, use it as weapons to power their systems up. Okay? Just like anything does. You need to run on energy, right? So you're in a fallen system. So that's why we're here. Okay? That's why I came in here. Because of what happened to her. So it's, it's one of the reasons why I go into a lot of their sports media channels and hammer on a lot of these different channels because other people not only see that, but it's like letting them know now they're getting messages. Okay. Well, a lot of light must be in here now. We're being exposed. So it's not like they don't know. It's over. Okay. So, um, yeah, thank you, William Cooper.